Okay, we, we have a CBD that certainly needs revitalising, but it has lots of potential advantages. It has a rail line that goes right into the city. It has activities that are already started, like Renew Newcastle, like live sites, like the um, uh, art bazaar that, that happens, just community scale things. It's managed to keep its built human scale. It has wonderful heritage buildings. Uh, these are the things that we need to capitalise on to revitalise the CBD. Now it also happens to have some large development sites that are coming online to develop uh, and there's a proposal for a university CBD campus which the Greens have been advocating for many, many years. These are the kind of projects that can help to revitalise our city and we need a council that will work hard to make that happen. In Newcastle we have the basis for a clean, jobs rich, thriving green economy that's based on a sustainable future which uses the, you know, the fact that we've got a regional university, we have the CSIRO, we've got our traditional manufacturing base, we have everything that can come together to bring us, to take us in a, a direction for our economy that's going to be sustainable and bring us something that's of value to future generations. When I'm talking about collaborative leadership, I'm talking about the kind of leadership that engages with communities, that empowers people in communities, that works with them in a way that helps to harness the creativity and the talents of, of the, those communities and draws out what they have to offer in a way that makes it so much bigger than the sum of its parts and deepens democracy. We need to fix the city's transport system, beginning with an audit of the buses, which are the real problem as far as Newcastle's transport system is concerned. But we also need to make sure that we improve and integrate our current transport infrastructure and services. We need to add to that in a sensible way, uh, including thinking about things like light rail. And we need to make sure that we create a transport system where people actually want to leave their cars at home and use public transport. We need to revitalise our CBD and that means moving away from stale old arguments about cutting the Newcastle rail line and getting on with the real tasks of revitalisation. We need to realise that the city of Newcastle is more than just the CBD. We've got neighbourhoods and local community centre, commercial centres that also need the council's support and they're vital in creating a sustainable city because it's in those sorts of communities that we get in grassroots initiatives like community gardens, men's sheds, the various little uh, festivals and events that community groups run in their local communities uh, and it's very important for moving beyond things like uh, peak oil and climate change, uh, for those sorts of initiatives to be encouraged and the council plays a key role in doing that. Like the Newcastle community, we care about these things and the talented team that we bring to this next council election have a commitment and a set of skills that will serve the city well in taking us down the right path to a healthy, sustainable and socially just future. We're putting up a team of people who really care. If you care, vote one the Greens.